Hey everyone, so often time when we are going to be uh, parsing our grammar, well, we'll come to parsing later on, there are, there, there are many parsing algorithms. So in and, uh, when a compiler is in the syntax analysis phase, when it's trying to parse the string, parse the token that it has got from the lexical analysis phase, we have to sometimes remove ambiguity from the grammar or else the parser cannot recognize the grammar. So one form of ambiguity is left recursive grammar. So when you have a grammar that's of the form like this, when you have the variable appearing as the leftmost symbol of whatever is on the right side, uh, whatever stuff is on the right side of this uh, symbol. So whenever we get the leftmost symbol as the, uh, when we, whenever we get the variable as the leftmost symbol, then that grammar is recursive and we have to remove it by transforming it into something like this. So A goes to beta A prime, A prime is some uh, some symbol that you would take it could be a, to a goes to beta x or whatever doesn't matter and then a prime goes to alpha a prime so which one would you take as alpha and beta alpha is whatever follows after this leftmost symbol it could be two to three symbols as well it could be two to three terminals or variables alpha could be anything couldn't just it doesn't have to be just one symbol always remember that so whatever follows after the after the leftmost symbol is the alpha and beta is everything after the or symbol if you don't have anything after the or symbol you could just take epsilon as the beta right so let's go to some example so this is one example that's given as you can see e goes to e plus t e is the leftmost symbol and that is a left recursive grammar so we need to remove that ambiguity here so let's just uh, do that so now the, the rule is beside us and that's give it to us beside this uh, thingy so it's easier for us to you know at the first, when you're a beginner it's easier for you to uh, know how to how to like classify which is alpha and beta and all so a goes to a alpha we know a goes to a alpha right so this is of the form that so let's take which is a this is a this is a and this is this part is alpha and this part is beta right so a goes to a alpha so we have to transform it to something like this so a uh, so here a is e so e goes to beta a prime beta is t so t e prime and then e prime goes to e prime goes to uh, alpha alpha is plus t plus t alpha and a e prime again so plus t e prime or epsilon that's it that is all you have to do pretty easy right if you could just classify which is alpha and which is beta everything will fall into place and also memorize the formula so let's look at this one here a is this this is a and this part is alpha and this part is beta right so t goes to uh, beta a prime so beta is f so f t prime and t prime goes to alpha a prime which is alpha star f star f which is the alpha alpha and a prime is t prime so t prime and then epsilon that's it that's all you have to do so let's just match the answers yep it did match e goes to t e prime yes and plus t e prime epsilon t goes to ft prime yes and t prime goes to star ft prime and epsilon that's it so uh, that, let's look at some more examples so yeah so s goes to uh, so this this part is fine this part we don't have to convert it to left recursion because s does not appear here on the left most as a leftmost symbol but here we have to convert it so let's just convert it right so l goes to this is a this is alpha and this is beta so l goes to beta a prime so beta is s l prime and l prime goes to alpha is comma s and l prime or epsilon that's it uh, so this is the next grammar a goes to beta is b so b a prime a prime goes to alpha alpha is this part so plus b and then a prime or epsilon again okay this we don't need to convert this is all perfect b does not appear as the leftmost symbol over here so that's fine so we converted this we converted this left recursion done 
Now let's look at left factoring. That's another form of uh, ambiguity that you would see in a grammar. So when you have something like this, uh, left factoring is basically just the removal of the common left factor that appears on the two productions of the same ter non terminal. It is done to avoid backtracing the by the parser. We'll come to parsers later on, but let's just see how to remove this kind of ambiguity. So when you have the left when, when the leftmost symbol, everything is left here, left factoring, not right factoring. So always look at the left symbol, leftmost symbol. And since the leftmost symbol is common in both of these uh, productions, so we, how would you know which one to choose? Whenever the parser, it cannot decide which rule to choose. That's why you have to remove this common left factor that you have on the, as the leftmost symbol in two to three multiple productions. Could be two, it could be three, any. And you have to transform, oh sorry, and you have to transform it into something like this. A goes to alpha A prime. Again, just decide which is the alpha and which is the beta. Alpha is always the common symbol, common leftmost symbol on the two productions. Uh, and A prime is just an uh, just a example symbol. And then in the A prime, you put the uh, other stuff that's matching, the, the one that's after the alpha. You put all of that in an OR format, right? So let's look at one example. So here you can see um, T plus E and T, and it could be epsilon. So T is the common left factor in these two productions. So that's why we have to convert it into some, uh, we would have to remove left factoring, we would have to remove the left factor from these two productions. So let's do that. E, uh, sorry, yeah, E goes to, um, what we, uh, so let's look at the rule again. E goes to alpha A prime. So alpha, which one is the alpha and which one is the, you know, the symbol? This is alpha. Alpha is a common symbol. And everything other than that is beta. So this is beta and epsilon is beta. So alpha A prime. So alpha is T E prime. And then E prime goes to plus E or epsilon. That's it. Now let's look at the second one. Here alpha is this, this is alpha, and the other part is beta 1 and beta 2. This we're not concerned about this, we're just concerned about these two pairs of grammars. So T, uh, let's just use another color, right, so T goes to alpha A prime, alpha is int, int T prime, and T prime goes to Beta 1 or beta 2? Beta 1, 1 is epsilon and 1 is star t. So this is the resulting grammar. Again, let's look at another one. E, uh, this is the alpha, 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 right? So E goes to alpha is int and alpha uh, A prime. So E prime. And E prime goes to uh, uh, e prime goes to beta 1 or beta 2. So beta 1 is plus E or minus E or epsilon. And E, we have another production. We could also put that one here, E minus E. So yeah. So yeah, that's how you would convert, uh, uh, that's how you would remove the left common left factor in a production to remove the ambiguity of that grammar. So that's about it. I hope that was clear enough. Uh, the next we'll move on to the parsers, which are you know really which are really big processes and it will take a lot of time, but we'll we'll get to that. So I hope this was clear. This tutorial was clear and understandable. Give a thumbs up to support this series and good luck.